So, it's a bright sunny day in early February, mid 40s. Time to go in and um, see where we're at. You know, see if there's any hives that are in trouble or need attention. And uh, got my fingers crossed, but we don't get too many of these kind of days. We actually have some bees taking cleansing flights. A couple of the hives are active. So let's take a look inside them. We have sugar and we have bees. The hive is lighter than I would like to see, but there's a heck of a sugar cake still up here. So uh, I'm pretty happy with this one. This is our number one hive. But uh, you know, just judging by the weight, I would say that um, I'm gonna have to get some feed on this girl, but you know, they're, they're definitely okay in there. Very wet burlap. Lots of bees. This hive's a little bit heavier than hive number one. This is a uh, number three. Again, we still have good sugar stores and uh, they're definitely alive, so. We'll bundle them back up for now. I've, I've ordered in uh, pollen patties, which just came in, but we don't want to put those on too early. We want the buildup of uh, brood to be occurring more next month. Um, this top burlap's pretty wet, but the ones underneath it are pretty dry. Again, we have some pretty wet burlap. We have sugar stores and a nice cluster of bees. Oh my, this is a very heavy one. So that's good news. Nothing strange on the right boards so far. And we'll look at this one too. Just the usual cappings. Again, plenty of bees, still have sugar. Again, a very heavy hive. So these last couple of hives are pretty heavy. Tells me there's good honey stores inside. Number one and number three might need food soon. They're not eating through their food yet, but uh, the hives themselves are light, so when we get into March, well, that's, 
that's where the real risk of starvation is. Number six. Number six is also heavy. Let's see how the bees are doing inside. They came with dropsy with the hive tool today. Lots of bees. Not much left on the sugar stores upstairs. Um, but the hive is very heavy, which tells me there's a lot of honey downstairs. So, good. I'm figuring maybe the second week of March, maybe a little earlier than that, I'm gonna throw pollen patties on all these. Uh, I'm using the ones that have 15% real pollen in them. There's a big difference in the way the bees treat the ones that have real pollen in them and the pollen substitute ones. So, you know, I'm a big proponent of using ones that have some real pollen in them. Number eight is one of our honey-fed hives. There's no sugar stores on the top. A lot of activity on the entrance. They're doing some, some serious plunging flights today. Generally on these hives, you're not gonna see bees at the top because there's no food up there. No reason for them to come up. Lots of mold. Luckily it's white mold. And indeed, we don't see any bees at the top I do see a lot of them taking cleansing flights today. Bottom board looks reasonable. Heavy. I hate to break the tape seals to go down in there. Come on, girl, you're not gonna be able to get back out. But I can hear activity within the hive. And, um, no, no. That's what I want to hear. Our infamous hive number nine. I hear bees. I don't see any bees. I hear them though. I'm very tempted on this one, uh, just to take a peek a little bit further in. I think I will. Overtake. Considering how aggressive these are, this may be a very fast look between supers. Yep, bees. Hard to say how big the cluster is. Whether it's the edge, top edge of a cluster. This one we were seeing queen issues with. This may just be a very small cluster and it may be a hive that's in trouble. For now, she's alive. She has plenty of weight and honey there. If it is a queen issue, there's not too much we can do about it. So, you know, we'll just take it for what it is. I've made the mistake of assuming a hive is down and out before, only to open it further and uh, find that I've really upset the apple cart. So, Groundhog says we're going to have an early spring. If so, we don't have to worry about these girls freezing. So for now, at least, things are looking pretty good at Buzz Park. Uh, those are famous last words. <laughs> So I'll keep my fingers crossed. Remember, if you like what you see here, I mean, we're really trying to take you through the whole experience of beekeeping from the beginning to end, uh, hopefully no end. Um, 
So if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. I appreciate it. We still have the seven hives. Well, seven are alive. One's a little thin, but that could be nothing more than the cluster is down further than I think. We'll tune in again and give you another video uh, when something happens. Uh, as I say, this is the off season, but you get a warm, sunny day like today, and you want to you want to go out and take a look at things. And uh, I'm happy I did. I'm, I'm happy with what I see. It makes me rest rest easy. So. Till next time, from Buzz Park, goodbye.